What's up, Panther fans? You know, this is Panthers Roar 89. So, we got this game coming up against the Saints. 2-0 heading into against a bum-ass 0-2 Saints team. Um, but what, what else would you expect from the Saints? Because after they won that Super Bowl, uh, I can't remember that many good seasons from them. So, uh, going into this game, obviously, um, defense has got to show out, right? And they've been incredible, having given up a touchdown two games. Um, offense has got to get going. Uh, scoring six points or nine points against Buffalo. Now, that's a little bit alarming. But Buffalo does not have, you know, a horrible defense by any means. But New Orleans, that defense is shit. So if we don't put up some numbers against them, then I think, you know, maybe there's something worried about. Uh, we lose Greg Olson, broken foot. That always kills. But I think Ed Dixon actually will come in and do a pretty good job. Um, I mean, obviously, losing a guy that, you know, broke the record for, you know, oh, well, the only tight end in NFL history to go for three straight thousand-yard seasons, yeah, you're going to miss that. Um, doesn't matter what you do, you're going to miss that kind of guy. But with the pieces we have around us, I think it's going to uh, – I, I think we're going to be able to get through it. Uh, I see Funches coming a big part of this. It seemed like in the uh, Buffalo game he started to get a lot more involved as after Olsen went out. So, you know, maybe he's a guy that steps up and has a really good year. I don't know, right? So going into this – we all know New Orleans' defense is bad. Their motto has always been to try to outscore teams. Uh, the one year they won you know, a cheap-ass Super Bowl was when they were getting defensive turnovers. They don't even do that. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing with that team. They traded Brandon Cooks. Uh, they brought in Ted, Ted Ginn. I mean, we all know Ted Ginn is only good in a Panthers uniform. That's a fact. I don't know why people still think he could be good outside of Carolina. He's not. He's played for Miami, uh, San Francisco, uh, Arizona, I'm probably missing a couple teams, and he's sucked on all of them. I don't think New Orleans will end up being different at all. Um, that offense doesn't even seem that high-powered this year, and uh, I don't expect uh, basically their season to be changing against us. I think, uh, I think honestly, they, I mean, with that offense and the way the game's going to go and how shitty their defense is, I think we honestly win this game, 37 to 14. Like, I, I think it's going to be an absolute beatdown. I think the offense is actually going to get going this week because that defense is that bad. And that offense is not scary anymore. It's It looks, it, it looks I don't know, outdated, old, whatever words you want to use, but it doesn't look like an offense that strikes fear into you like it used to. Um, a few years ago, it was like, okay, they got the ball. They're probably going to score, right? It doesn't feel like that anymore. Uh, they've gotten beat by Minnesota and New England. Minnesota's okay. New England's obviously probably going to be pretty good. Uh, but uh, I think we're going to start this season 3-0. and And uh, we're taking back to South. And you know, we're going we're gonna to do what we've done previously for you know three years. We're going to keep doing what we've been doing. Uh, but I think that's about all for this video. So thanks for watching. And go Panthers.